Ephesians chapter 3, 18, 19. May be alone to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and, and length and, height, and depth and height and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that you might be filled with all the fullness of God. Ephesians 3, 18, 19. I love that passage. May be al alone to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth, length, and, and depth, and height, and to know the love of Christ which passeth knowledge that you might be filled with all of God. Imagine you owe 20 grand and you had to pay it tomorrow. Someone pays it off for you today. God paid your debt. You owed him, I owed him, but he paid your debt. Paid for my debt. How did he pay? John 3.16, here's the love of God. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Romans 5.8 but God showed his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us, Romans 5, 8. Ephesians 2, 14, 15. But God being rich in mercy because of the great love which he had loved us, even when we were dead in our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ by grace, have you been saved? 1 John 4, 9 and 11, in this is the love of God, was made manifest among us that God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be a propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. 1 John 4, 9 and 11. And this is the love of God, was made manifest among us, that God sent his only Son into the world, so that we might live through him. In this is love, not that we love God, but that he loved us, he loved us, and sent his Son to be a propitiation. The Greek there means the appeasement of the wrath of God. The propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. Christ gave himself for us. He showed his love for us. That's the love of God. And God wants us to reflect that. But God, what God has for you today is his love. If you want to trust in him and believe in him today. So the three things that we've looked at today. The grace of God for you. We've looked at the riches of Christ for you. And we looked at the love of God for you. And uh, the singer, Paloma Faith, her song is, Surely I wouldn't care if you walked away, but any time you're there, I'm begging you to stay. When you come close, I just tremble, and every time and every time you go, it's like a knife that cuts right through my soul. If we reject God, it's going to be like a knife cutting through our soul. Matthew 25, 46. Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 9. They will be punished with everlasting destruction and shut out from the presence of the Lord and from the majesty of his power. 2 Thessalonians 1, 9. Now through them unto the fire and threw them into the fiery furnace where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Matthew 13, 15. Now, I don't understand those passages. I don't understand the doctrine of hell. I, I'm telling you now, I don't understand it. 
But I'm not here to give my opinion. I'm not here to give what I think. I'm here to preach the Bible faithfully and to teach you the Bible. And the Bible clearly states there is a doctrine of hell. There is a hell. There is a weeping and gnashing of teeth. And Now, I don't understand it, but if the Bible is warning you that there is a hell, then there is a hell, and to forsake it, to turn away from that. And you can go into all sorts of things and say, oh, well, it's scaremongering tactics. No, no, it's just God's word, and God's word says it. And you either believe it or you don't. And if you believe it, you're saved. And if you don't, you're going to be lost. Now, how that lostness turns out, I don't know. But I know this, it's going to be a sorry state. Because you're leaving God and you're, you're rejecting God. But the Bible clearly teaches how. We can't pick and mix bits here and there like these liberal people do. The Bible is the word of God and it is not to be messed with. It is the truth. It is the word. You either preach it as a whole truth or you don't. And true preachers preach the full counsel of God. So, we've looked at today Ephesians chapter 3. For me, it's a picture of a gospel minister in the grace of God rejoicing in the gospel and declaring the gospel and I hope that you come to realize today that if you want to know God you can through the gospel through what Christ has done you can come to know God today however sinful you've been you can be forgiven and know God's love and cleansing and so may God bless you today have a lovely day I'm going to close in prayer and um, and thank you for listening and if you want to come to know the Lord today and have salvation all you have to do is say Lord I'm a sinner please forgive me please come into my life I believe you died on the cross for me and Jesus will come and he will forgive and the Holy Spirit will dwell in you and you'll know peace and joy okay Let's close. Father God, I thank you for this day. And I thank you for your love and your grace and care. And I give you the praise and I give you the glory. And I give you the honor. I thank you for your love and your goodness and your blessings. I thank you for everything that you've done for us today. And God, I pray that this message would be a blessing and would be a help and an encouragement to people and that people would come to know you and trust in you. And so, Lord, I pray that you would bless and that you would encourage and that you would save. We thank you, Lord, for those words, all things work together for good. Excuse me, to them that love God. Thank you, Lord, that you turn things around and we give you the prayers and the glory today. So, Lord, we commit everything to you today and we leave everything in your hands. And we pray for your blessings upon this day for all of us, for all our family and all our friends. And for all that we know today. We ask this, Lord, in your name and for your glory. Amen. 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 Well, I'm going to get on now. Um, I'm going to be taking some time out, uh, having a couple of weeks kind of holiday. And, um, and um, to show people that I am free of YouTube and then I will come back and make videos preaching and uh, also to give people an opportunity to take the archive channels down and um, and for people to sort themselves out concerning me and so give them uh, on YouTube to, to give them time to um, 
to take those archive tiles down and any videos that that need to be taken down so I'm just hoping that things will be sorted out and so I'm going to be taking uh, two weeks out and um, just trusting that um, all the humiliation that surround where you type in Jason Burns that some of it will be shifted and the uh, a more balanced picture of Jason will be given of crazy stuff and Bible teaching um, when you type in Jason Burns so I'm hoping that atheists and others Christians and others will be able to shift things around on YouTube and get things changed so that a fair more fairer representation of me is presented um, and that there's peace between me and atheists so I hope you have a lovely summer and um, I just wish everybody well and um, God bless everybody so that's it have a lovely day and uh, maybe see you in a few weeks time